welcome back. My name is David Blissett and in this specific uh, video we're going to go ahead and start looking at 2D blend trees. Now what a 2D blend tree is, is a blend tree that will allow you to be able to blend through more than one parameter. So let's go ahead and see if we can get a controller, animator controller going. That's going to allow us to set this up. So we're going to call this one Jason Blend Tree 2D. Okay, let's launch into that. Okay. So we're going to want to set up a new from new blend tree. Actually, no, let's undo that. I'm going to want an idle state first as usual. So come in here and find a idle similar to what we've done in previous lessons. And we'll go ahead and we'll call this the idle. And then from there, then we're going to have our blend tree. Now before we configure the blend tree, we're going to be inputting into this two parameters. Uh, both of them, actually they're going to be floats, so let's just delete that one, it's an integer. We need a float representation for horizontal. And you guessed it, we need one for the vertical. Okay, so I'm going to come in here and we're going to need to configure this blend tree, not 1D like we've been doing, but we want a 2D freeform Cartesian because we're using uh, the X and Y planes, Cartesian coordinates. So we're going to tell uh, the blend tree to use the horizontal and to use a vertical. Then let's go ahead and get rid of this extra parameter called blend. And there you go. So now we have the ability to drive the horizontal and also drive the vertical. All right, that's brilliant. So what are we gonna drive? What's the animation clips that we wanna push for this? Now, Unity Technologies have provided us with uh, this configuration here, which will give us uh, varying uh, animations, both wide, left, for running and walking. And so essentially you can do a tight circle or a wider circle on the run, or you can do a walk, or you can just do a straight run, right? So it doesn't matter which order we take these in, just provided that they actually do come in. So let's go ahead and uh, I think, let's see if we can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we're gonna need 12 slots for the motion fears. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring those in manually and then we're gonna pick up the video from there. So we just pause for a second while I go ahead and uh, create these slots and drag them across, drag the animations across. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we've just about managed to get those configurations coming through. And as you can see here, if I just uh, zoom in on this correctly, you have essentially all 12 animation clips being mapped and we can still go ahead and get this configured. So the next thing we wanna do is make sure we tell the blend tree how we want to compute these positions. And in our scenario, we're gonna to wanna to use a speed and angular speed. So then straight away, once making that selection, we notice that we have this uh, really nice uh, configuration here. And essentially this kind of represents uh, at the bottom, the vertical mappings, and at top, the horizontal mappings. So just to give you an idea. So as I drag this here now, you want to think, if you notice the, the parameters for horizontal and vertical moving around. And so, let's just go ahead and play this here. So if you want to think like you were holding a, a Xbox or PlayStation controller, as I change these configurations, you notice that we were able to both run, we can do a walk, we can do a run, 
we can turn right, turn left. It's, it's brilliant. So that's what we have here as the configuration now. Um, and what we want to be able to use to drive the transition is going to be the vertical. Uh, you want to see almost like the vertical as kind of like the velocity. So we'll have a transition going forward. Let's just uh, unlock that there. We want to turn off has exit time and go ahead and set the vertical greater than 0 0.1. And then going back from that transition to the idle pose, again, turning off has exit time. Get on the vertical and in this scenario, it's less than 0 0.1. Now it's great that we can uh, actually do this within this specific environment but realistically we want this during uh, game run time so what we're going to do here is stop now and go ahead and configure the, uh, the arrow keys on the keyboard uh, to mimic us actually using the controller so we're going to stop the clip here now and pick things up in the next lesson all right thanks for watching